Hey everybody, uh, just come kind of bring to you a little bit uh, short demonstration on to answer one of the questions that I see people asking, especially pastors and church leadership and and people that are trying to do neighborhood uh, outreach. And they, they like, how, how do I make it interactive? I mean, I know how to do a Facebook Live, but but that's OK. But that's kind of a one sided conversation, except for the chat. H how do I have people on the screen with me? Well, there, there's uh, there's some live tools you can use use for Facebook Live, but it it but it's kind of limited to just a few people. But there is a a, a cool tool that I want to talk about called Zoom, and Zoom will give you the power and the ability to be able to uh, to to have a conversation, do a training, do a teaching online with people, and it's called it's called Zoom, and we're gonna we're gonna go there, and uh, let me get uh, to the presentation here and help you get started. All right, so how do you how do you have an interactive online Bible study? I think you should leverage the power of Zoom. So hey, if you're following along with me here and uh, I appreciate you being here, just give me a one in the chat box or type in your name or say, hey, hey, Dean, uh, so I know you're here because uh, I'm doing this on about four or five different pages at the same time. So so I might not see your comment if you make it without, uh, without saying something to me, but uh, Again, how, how do you do that? How do you leverage the power of Zoom? Zoom is a uh, can be a free tool for you to use. So I'm just going to kind of walk through the basic with you, but then give you the opportunity to sign up on. Uh, I have a free class, 20 part class that you can use. I'm going to. I'm, it's my antivirus. It's my antivirus gift to, to people who are trying to work from home. Pastors are trying to lead their congregation. Small group leaders trying to trying to continue to to pastor and minister to their to their car, their people for work groups that are trying to figure out because they never had to do it or if they did do it at work, it was always a uh, a master person that ran the Zoom meetings and now you're having to do it yourself and you, you have no clue how to do it. So so I'm going to I'm just going to kind of share that with you here and uh, kind of walk you through it. So I'm just going to kind of give you the basics, but I have a 20 part video series that I'm going to give you a link to at the end that will that basically allow you to to go step by step through the process of how do you set up Zoom? How do you set up your meetings? How do you run your meetings? How do you transcribe the the, the meetings if you need to? How do you how do you do a screen share? Uh, and all those kinds of things. How do you invite people? So how, we're going to show you how to do all that in, in our 20-part series. So if that'd be an interest to you, go ahead and put something in the chat box. Hey, hey, I'd be interested in that. I'd like to know more about that. So I know in the end, but make sure, make sure that I give you a link to do that. Okay. So uh, let's let, let's let's get started here with the process. First of all, when we talk about Zoom, I just kind of want to share with people what is Zoom because you might not know what Zoom is. You might have heard the name or heard people talk about it, but you really didn't, you don't know what it is, right? So Zoom is a cloud-based video conferencing service, meaning that it's not something that uh, you have to be running off your computer whether you're, or your tablet or your phone, it is cloud-based. So that means you sign in and you use their power of their, their, their server to run your meeting. So it doesn't get all necessarily bogged down, not to say that it won't, um, uh, but you can use this. So, so Zoom is a cloud-based video conferencing uh, that you can use a virtual meeting with other people. You can have a one-on-one, -on -one. Uh, you can use video, you can use just video and audio, or you can do just do audio to audio, kind of like a phone call, but you can have a multi multiple people on there uh, as well. Uh, you could do an audio with the video presentation for people. So you could, you could put that up there. You can record it. You can then transcribe it, uh, turn it into content if you need to, or an outline for people, or let's say you're having a uh, a meeting between leadership or a meeting between your team and you need to document that, you can use Zoom to do that and then transcribe it. So you can do a lot of different kind of things with it. Uh, you can also, of course, use it to uh, have for training later. Maybe there's something we need, we discussed, somebody came up with a great idea and we want to go back through it. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to show you how to do that. This is how, this is how powerful Zoom is. It is used by over half of the fortune 500 companies. That is to, over 255 of the Fortune 500 companies use Zoom last year. Well, I bet you that's going to go up to like 500 for this year because of the virus. So, so hang with me as I talk about my antivirus solution for you. Okay, if you're stuck at home, working from home, trying to do ministry from home, trying to make stuff happen from home, 
trying to help people from home, this, this tool will help you. So how does Zoom work? Well, first of all, you, you have to choose a plan. Zoom allows one-to-one -one chat sessions that can grow into group calls that expand into training sessions. You can even do a webinar on it and just post it up for people to watch and, inter and you can interact with them. Uh, you can put up to a thousand participants on it uh, and with, with some of the plans and have up to 49 on-screen videos. That is have 49 people on one screen so you can see everybody. And I'll kind of show you what that looks like here in, in uh, just a minute. The, there's a free version. There's a free tier of uh, Zoom and that allows you to have unlimited one-on-one -on -one meetings, uh, but it limits group sessions to 40 minutes. So uh, if you, you can do free and as long as you keep things under 40 minutes uh, and you have three or four or 10 or 15 or 20 or 50 or 100 people or more on there, you have 40 minutes. Well, 40 minutes is a long enough meeting, I think, to do just about anything. It's teach a lesson, do a training, have a have a have a brainstorming session, have a share time, uh, have a prayer time, uh, have a conference uh, about stuff, uh, share modules with people, do all that kind of stuff in 40 minutes. If you can't do it in 40 minutes, you probably hadn't thought it through well enough. And if you in 40 minutes is all you got, you just end it and start another one right behind it. Take a break, everybody go to the bathroom, come back and and continue. So it's pretty easy uh, to use. Pay, paid plans start at fifteen dollars a month. Now, for most of us, uh, when this crisis is over, when the crisis is over, you know, we'll probably go back to work and and go back to doing whatever we do. We may not need it, but we may fall in love with it, and I think you will fall in love with this this tool. So you might fifteen dollars is pretty inexpensive to have a, a paid uh, tool that lets you have multiple people on and continue longer than 40 minutes if you need that. Okay. So how does it work? When you choose your plan, uh, the, 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 the zoom free is free. Uh, as I've already said, there's a paid version costs $14.99 a month. At least it did when I made this uh, training. Uh, it allows you to, to host a personal meeting with an ID uh, a personal ID and you can just send out that ID to people. They can just click on it and sign up. We'll talk a little bit about that. And you can have repetitive meetings uh, on Zoom this way. In other words, you can set something up where uh, we're going to have a meeting every day. Like we're going to have a have a uh, check in meeting every day with my team uh, every month, every morning at eight o'clock. And you can just set all of them up at once and boom, everybody signs in and have that. Or you can say, OK, we're going to have a Bible study uh, every morning uh, at six o'clock uh, for, for our people that are going to go out today or going to go to work today. Uh, and it's at six o'clock or six o'clock at night or whenever you want it. You can have repetitive, repetitive meetings. It allows you to record the meeting in the cloud. Uh, but it, it, it caps that meeting duration to 48, uh, 24 hours. You'll see what that means later. And then there's a business version of it, which costs 20 bucks a month. Uh, and uh, you have to uh, you can have 10 hosts. I mean, in other words, you could subscribe 10 people to it that could run a meeting at any time. So in other words, if you were doing this as a work group, uh, you might just, you know, uh, have that and everybody pitches in $2. I mean, uh, $10, uh, two dollars, yeah, $2. And, uh, uh, everybody can host their own meeting at their own time. So you have work teams or say you have ministry group leaders or you have small group leaders or, or you have care teams or, or whatever. And they need to have their own meeting separate. You can give them access to that through the Zoom business. You can also, of course, brand it with your logo. You can get vanity URLs. You can there's numerous things you can do. You can get transcripts of those meetings recorded in the cloud, uh, and uh, you get dedicated customer support. Now, I, there's two other packages, but I don't, uh, I don't see many people on here uh, that I'm talking to today are going to need that uh, feature. So do you have a question so far? If you have a question yet, yeah, put put in the chat box uh, and I'll uh, I'll try to answer it. If you're doing this uh, on my personal stream, I may not can see it, uh, but um, I will answer it. So again, how does Zoom work? Well, here's what Zoom looks like. Here's what a Zoom screen looks like with four people. And you can see each person on there and you can see some people have a headset. Some people are using their earbuds. Some people are just talking through their through their desktop. So there's a lot of ways it can be, it can work. Now you could have up to 40 people, 49 people in a screen. Of course, everybody would be, you know, just little, little bitty, bitty, but, but you could still do that. 
with people and any overflow just moves over. There's an error comes up on there and you just move over to the next screen and see people. You can mute people uh, you, so, you, so that everybody's not talking at once and then they can unmute themselves and, and ask a question. You can do a screen share with it, uh, just like I'm doing right now uh, here with the tool I'm using. Uh, so, so it's a, it's, it's, it's a pretty awesome, uh, it's a pretty awesome tool. Pretty awesome tool. Uh, so, so if you go there, you could, you could, I'll blow this up big so you can see it. Uh, you could, you could just go there. This is what the sign up, you sign up for free. You just go to zoom.us forward slash sign up and you just sign up and create an account. You can sign in with Google, you can sign in with Facebook, or you can, you can use an email, uh, to sign up. So, that's kind of how that works. So, so it's, it's a, it's a basic, it's, it's basic. The free is basic and you can do a lot of stuff with free. I would encourage it to start there. Okay. The next, the next thing, and once you do that, there, oh, there's the URL. Sorry, I didn't give you a URL. HTTPS zoom.us forward slash sign up or zoom.com. You can go to zoom.com and do the same thing. So then you, you'll need to download the app to your desktop. And if you're using it on a tablet or a phone, you want to do that. It's pretty simple. Uh, you, you need to do it as the meeting host. Okay. In other words, on the meeting host, you can, you'll need a Zoom. Somebody will need a Zoom account to start and have the meeting with. So if you're the leader, if you're the point person, if you're the work team leader, if you're the pastor, small group leader, you want to do that, you, you can create your own uh, a Zoom meeting and host the meeting. Somebody will need to do that on a desktop or a phone or a tablet. You download the app at the app in your app store. Okay, a Zoom account isn't required for people, however, that attend the meeting. They just have to have the link. Okay, they don't have to have an account. They just have to have the link and the app. So if they're on a mobile device or a tablet, they'll need to download the app to their phone or to their tablet so that they can access the meeting. Uh, if they're on a desktop, you just click on the link and it's going to open. It's going to ask you, do you want to open the Zoom meeting? You say yes. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to use your um, your microphone and your camera? And, and you decide what you want to do there. And, and then you, you know, you move forward. Right. And so once you're once you're inside, this is what the dashboard looks like. Again, let me make that big. Here's what the dashboard looks like. And uh, like I say, I have full training on this, uh, but you can see you can upset them. You can set up a meeting. Uh, you can set up a meeting right here and, and uh, schedule a meeting. And that, that's how that part, that's how that component works, right? So you, you can do that. And then uh, you can, uh, our training tells all about kind of thing, how you set up on a calendar, how you do a share screen, how you do a recording, how you transcribe a recording uh, and, and all of those things. So again, it's a pretty powerful, pretty powerful. And I would encourage you when you do, when you get this, before you just try to use it, like don't go get it right now and try to have a meeting in five minutes unless you already know how to use Zoom because uh, you probably you probably stumble around and can't figure it out. And people will be talking over each other and and uh, people people, you know, they'll leave, so to speak, after the deal. So get familiar with how Zoom works uh, when you when you uh, you do, do some practice meetings with Zoom, get with somebody and host a Zoom or not. Just start your own Zoom meeting and run it yourself. Learn how to. How the screen slide, uh, how the screen share works, learn how to record it, learn how to turn things on and off. But just get in there and play around. You can't break it because it's not something that's on your computer. It's on the cloud. You can't break it. Uh, and, and if it doesn't work, you can say, okay, let me try again and do something else. Right? So get familiar with how Zoom works. You set you can set up a meeting. Uh, here's kind of the screen of what that looks like. You set up a meeting, you give all the attributes to it, you figure out what that's going to look like. You determine how that looks, how, you know, whether people are going to start with video, they're going to start with audio, they're going to start with, uh, they're going to start with uh, uh, everybody muted. Uh, do they, do they have to give their name when they come on? There's all kinds of things you can set up in there uh, to start your meeting. So it's a, it's a very powerful, powerful tool. So I, I would encourage you uh, again, uh, when we give you the opportunity to go get the training, just go get the training, walk through it. It's video training. It's, it works really cool. Uh, each session's uh, an average of anywhere in three to seven minutes long. It's a step-by-step -step thing uh, how to do it. So when you talk about hosting a meeting, you've got options. You can teach or speak with no screen share. In other words, you can you can come on there. Uh, you can come on there just like I am right now, right? You can come on there just like I am right now and, and just do this. You can just talk like this to people and, and uh, 
uh, use your materials just like this without without any extra, no screen share. Or you can you can do something on, on Zoom like this. You can share your screen uh, and and that kind of thing. So you can do numerous components inside of Zoom that way. You can also you can also go in the process of uh, teacher speak with screen share, just like this. You can also go through the process of, and to do that, now I'll tell you this, you've got to, you got to know how to use PowerPoint or keynote slides or something like that, Google slides. So you can make slides up ahead of time for you to, to use. So it's a pretty cool process. All right. For people. And it makes it simple and easy to do, uh, for people as well. You could do like a Q and a session. Uh, so you, you can allow other people to interact. You can just unmute people or they can unmute themselves. You can give them power to do that. And people can ask a question like, hey, uh, we're trying to uh, solve a problem over here on this project that we're working on. Uh, uh, has anybody got any ideas? And then and then people can unmute themselves and share. Or if you're doing, say, like a Bible study, you could you could ask a question and then somebody could raise their hand just like that and answer. You could just unmute them and let them answer. Uh, you could do stuff like that. So you, it's it's a process that works really, really well. Other options that you have, you can teach in the presenter view, what I, what I call the presenter view, which, which is you big uh, and you, like this. In other words, you can use this process. You're big and you ask people just like you would on Facebook. Hey, give me a comment in the box. Ask your question in the box right now. So if you've got questions about, hey, I'm interested in using Zoom or how would Zoom work for my team? Uh, how do I keep Zoom? Uh, you know, how would I record this? Uh, how would I share this? Can I share a file in Zoom? Uh, and that kind of stuff. You could ask a question like that. And then the presenter, that being me at the moment, could answer that question right there for the person I did by just looking in the chat box inside of Zoom because Zoom has a chat and everybody can see it or, or you can restrict it where only you see it. So they can ask a question just to you as the as the teacher. Uh, that kind of helps them keep, you know, that just kind of helps keep people focused uh, in that. But we talk about that in our in our no cost masterclass, 20 videos based on basically teaching you how to get set up to use Zoom, how to run a meeting, how to schedule it out, how to have a schedule uh, of repeating meetings and that kind of thing, how to record it, how to get it transcribed, all that kind of stuff. If you need to do that kind of thing. Now, example, example for a lot of churches right now, they're stuck. They can't meet. Well, they, they may need to take care of business. Well, why not just host an online business meeting and and record it and then have it transcribed so you have a uh, a transcription of your of your business meeting, All right? You have the minutes of the meeting right there already already done for you, so you could do that. Uh, there's one. There's a lot of cool things that people are going to learn out of this this you know social distancing thing and not being able to meet. You're going to find out that the things that you thought you couldn't do. Things that like, were like, oh, that'll never happen, or oh, I don't know what we do if that happens. You're gonna find out you can do all kinds of things. You're gonna you, you can find out you can do all kinds of things with with the power of Zoom. And so hopefully this this kind of helps you do that. So you can have a teacher, you can do something just like this. Uh, you can have a meeting online. Uh, and so you can get no cost Zoom training. Okay, no cost Zoom training. Uh, here at Business Profits Academy, that's my it's my training center at Masterclass Learn Zoom. Okay, and I'll, I'll post that here in, in a minute in the uh, in the uh, training. But let me just show you a little bit about about what that looks like. Okay, and let me expand this a little bit. You just go you just go here. There's a there's a welcome video here, right? There's a, let me paste this right here right now. Control Z and go right here and go right here. And I'm going to post that in the chat and you can see it right there. It is right there. Uh, you can go there and enroll. And so when you look over here, when you, once you, once you enroll, there's a little component, you got to give me your name, first name, your email, create a username and a password. And then you can see a little bit about what each lesson is about, right? What each lesson is about. And so when you go there, there are video trainings for that. And then you, of course you have, you have uh, you have the master up here. If you ever get lost and kind of forget where you're at, you can just you can go there. So uh, we you can go there. Let's see. I don't know if I'm logged in or not. Let's see if there's a video there. <clears throat> so if you click on yeah. So here we go. Here here's one of the videos. Okay. Here, here's the overview, and it just gets started, and uh, it starts well, kind of like this. We're now looking at the website zoom.us, also known as zoom.com. Zoom.com 
is made for online meetings. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but the, my friend Charles recorded these, and he's got a real smooth voice, and it works real easy. And he t he talks you right through the process, so it's real easy to use. And so each lesson is there. Each lesson is there for you to get signed up on. So that's it. BusinessProfitsAcademy.com forward slash masterclass, all one word, forward slash learn hyphen zoom. Okay. And you can go there. There's no cost. There's no cost to the class. It's my antivirus training to help people, business owners, ministry leaders, or uh, whoever, whoever be able to get out there and uh, take advantage of uh, uh, and leverage the power of being having to work from home, having to, to do your job from home, having to do ministry from home, having to reach out and help people from home uh, and that kind of thing. So this is what that uh, is all about. Now I offer, I do offer a advanced class in that, and it does have a cost to it. And, and, and there'll be a link there. You can see if you decide after you get through the first 20 of like, Hey, I want to, I want to learn all the neat tricks to, uh, to, to zoom. And I want to be able to use that and you, you can do that as well. So if you have, a, do you have a question, you have a question, you want to put it in the uh, question box uh, right quick. All right. All right. Can I post the link in here? Can you post the link in here? I thought I did, but I will post it again. All right. I'll post it again. All right. There it is. Okay. There, there's the link. And hopefully, hopefully that will help you. You can go there and get that. I'll also, when this video is over, I'll also post it in the header of the video as well. So you can go uh, straight there. Uh, I hope it helps. And if it helps, now I only have one requirement. If it helps, I need you to, I want you to come back and give me a review about it, right? Uh, it is posted on your slide. Yes. And it should be posted in the chat of this, um, uh, of this video. So, uh, if you're not seeing that, we'll just say, Hey, I'm not seeing it. And I'll, uh, I'll make sure I put it in the header at the top. Right. So, uh, businessprofitsacademy.com forward slash masterclass forward slash learn hyphen zoom. Now, I know that's a mouthful, but, uh, you can go there and find it. So, uh, it, it'll be there. And like I say, it'll post it. If not, just PN me on Facebook. Uh, just uh, PM me on Facebook and, and I'll share that with you, right? I'll share that with you. You'll, you'll be able to find it for sure. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can, let, let me do this. Let me, let me do this while I'm doing this. Let me go right here and, uh, I'll, I'll repost this. Okay. And let me do it this way. Hang on one second. I'll just post it in there right now. I got to wait for it to come up. All right. Oop, I can't spell. All right. All right. Hopefully now, hopefully you can see it now. Hopefully you can see it now. There it is. Uh, yeah, you can get the class here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alita, thank, thank you for that. Share this with anybody. If, if you know people, if you know people who are looking uh, for help, for training, that are working from home, that they're, they're kind of like trying to figure out, or maybe like say they work for a company who, when the company did a Zoom, they had a Zoom master that ran all that. And they're like, well, I know how it works. And I know the, I know, I know what it does, but I never did one. So I don't know how, I don't even know how to get started. Well, this, this, this masterclass, these 20 videos will walk you through every step of getting set up and using it and, and doing stuff I just did right here uh, to make that happen. So, so uh, uh, again, any way we can help you, this is my beat the virus, antivirus free gift to you. For whether you own your own business, you're trying to work from home, you got stuck working from home, whether you're in ministry and you're, try, you're trying to, as a pastor, trying to lead small groups or you're trying to do Bible studies or you're trying to do family meetings or team meetings, uh, whatever you're trying to do, Zoom is a way for you to do that. OK, Zoom's a way for you to do that uh, and, and make a lot of progress with what you're doing. OK, it kind of gets everybody on the screen together.
Well, hey, everybody, thanks for uh, thanks for being with me. I appreciate it. Uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, uh, hey, Yvette from Rancho Cucamonga, right down the road from my friend Rick Warren and Saddleback Church. By the way, if you've never been there, Yvette, it's a great place to go and be a part of. I know you can't go right now, but I guarantee you, Rick and the team are on this morning right now. And maybe right now. Okay. So, uh, so, so again, it, it is something you can do. It is something you can do to be able to, uh, to, 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 to make this work, right. To make this work. So, so, uh, I'm glad you're here. Appreciate everybody for being uh, a part of, uh, today, uh, broadcast and, and responding so well. And, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been there a bunch of times, several times. Uh, but, but again, if you're stuck at home or you're not stuck at home, maybe, maybe you just need to use this in the business, right? In your business. And you're like, I got to do something. Or maybe you just want to reach out to your neighbors up and down your street or in your neighborhood or in, or somewhere across the United States or maybe across the world. And you want to do Bible study with people or you want to have a meeting with people or you just want to check in on people and bring a family together. And, and, and you know, I know you can use FaceTime and I know you can use uh, you know, Facebook to do that, but this is, gives you an opportunity to, to have a professional process to what you're doing. Okay. So, uh, I, I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you, you all came aboard, share this with everybody. I love to see pe people get out there and make a difference. Hey, we'll talk to you again real soon. Have a great day.